Hi there, greetings from the beautiful country of Belize. I'm here right now hosting a seven day meditation retreat and I wanted to share with everybody something that's really been coming up for a lot of the people here on retreat. So sometimes when we go on retreat, we have this notion that all of our meditations are just all of a sudden just gonna be amazing, relaxing, blissful. We're gonna gain all this type of insight. And though that does happen, and that is happening for a lot of people, the truth of it is is that there's also a lot of struggle that can surface for people in their meditation. We could have whole sessions in a beautiful environment meditating and feel like we didn't actually meditate at all, we just kind of fought the mind. And it's something very specific that happens to us sometimes we meditate and we have a name for it. A couple of days ago we were out meditating in our morning meditation and a really violent storm, one of those tropical drenching, dousing storms hit. Um, the type of storms that we're totally unused to where I live in New Mexico. It was just pouring rain suddenly all around us and the rain was coming in at such a slanting angle that lots of us were actually getting soaked and drenched. About midway through the meditation I made the offering that I would be happy to escort anyone back along the pier to go back to their hotel room in out of the storm. And I was shocked when hardly anybody decided to leave. Almost the entire group stayed out in the drenching storm. They weathered the storm. And that is exactly what we learn how to do sometimes in our meditation as well. When that mind gets really uncontrollable in our meditative practice, it feels like it's just hard and drenching and dousing and it completely overwhelms our experience. It can be helpful to think of it as a storm, a mental storm. And just like all the people who stayed out meditating during the actual storm learned how to do, weather the storm, so we can teach ourselves to do in our meditation practice as well. The reason that they were able to stay out meditating in the storm is because they knew that at some point the storm would pass, right? There's this thing called impermanence. So we knew it wouldn't last forever. We knew it was just water. We've taken tons of showers in our lives. In fact, one woman said, I've taken lots of showers in my life. I could stand a little bit more uh, drops of water on my body, right? And we knew it wouldn't last forever. We don't get mad at the weather when it starts to storm. We know that's just part of what weather does. And the truth of it is that it's also sometimes part of what the mind does both in and out of our meditative practice. Storms surface on the level of mind and they overwhelm our experience. They completely change things, distort things, and drench and douse things. But if we can begin to understand that all we need to do sometimes is ride out the storm, weather the storm, hunker down, stay firm in our practice, this too shall pass. I actually like to take it one step further and say, this too is passing, right? Because in its coming is already its going. Just like the waves in the ocean, they come and they go. In its very approach toward the shore is woven in the recession back into the ocean, the receding back into the ocean, the coming and going of all things. So hopefully that could be a benefit sometime in your meditation practice because I pretty much guarantee you that if you haven't already encountered a storm in your mind when you're meditating or in your life in general, you will. And when we equate it to like an actual physical storm in the weather, it can be helpful and we can see access points, entry points to enter into a new level of practice, a new level of stability, a new level of resiliency even, weathering the storm, riding it out, babies, right? So I hope so much that's helpful to you. Toodles for now from Belize.